Well, howdy, howdy, howdy. Nearly senior citizen here. Greetings, boys and girls, and welcome to this. All my hamsters are sleeping right now, so no no hamsters running around. My sincere apologies. Also, I took some oil dabs earlier this morning, and I'm still having to clear my throat because of that. All of the hot oil increased mucus production from the slight damage, but damage there is. So I'm going to be clearing my throat and coughing periodically. My sincere apologies. <clears throat> but yes, all my hamsters are sleeping. It happens. It, we will have to be good with the plush stuffed hamsters on the background here. The other day I came in and this and the wolf were on the floor and the thing down here was all pushed backwards because this is Amelia's room too. So she wanted to play with the, with the stuffed things and so she push stuff back there so she could reach up and then she batted the stuff down so she could play with it so I tidied up I'm not gonna be mad at her I mean it's that's fine as long as she doesn't break anything that's why I moved the uh, I can't remember where I moved it to. I can see it up here yes this glass ship in a bottle used to be down here but Amelia would occasionally get up and bat at it <clears throat> And I didn't want that to break. So the breakable stuff got moved up higher. And the more non-breakable stuff stuff <laughs> down below. Yesterday started off really hot. And then the evening ended up cool. Which was good. And yet I still did not go out walking. So I got lazy. I have been doing that of late. <sighs> my sincere apologies and I I both feel bad about it and kind of don't feel bad about it I mean I don't need to be super duper extra mega healthy I don't need to be I need to be healthy enough that I'm not going to die anytime soon I need to be healthy enough that I'm going to live past the year 70 not the year 72 but past my 72nd year I mean, I'm not even 57 yet, so it's not like I'm I'm pushing the end of my life yet. I hopefully will be able to remember to come back to this, though. But I'm doing what I can to stay healthy. My pulse is still right around 50 beats per minute, and that's really good. And I still go out walkies a lot. It's just like last night. I just didn't have the energy and I couldn't push myself to get out, so I didn't. But again, <laughs> I've tried to remember to talk about this when I've started to do it and then I've gotten off on sidetracks again. I've mentioned before, hopefully I can get all the way through this. There are three main stages in your life. There is your youth, your maturity, and your twilight. Well, then there's the fourth stage, death. Death is just another stage of life. But you spend approximately 25 years in your youth, 25 years in your maturity, 25 years in your twilight, and then you're dead forever after that. But each of your stages of life can be broken down into youth, maturity, and twilight. You know, when you're in the youth of your youth, you're up to eight years old. You're blue. You're in the maturity of your youth. You're actually start. You're hitting puberty, and in the twilight of your youth, you're in your early twenties, and then you hit your maturity. When you're in the youth of your maturity, you're in your early thirties, and then you're into the maturity of your maturity, where you're got starting to push forty, and then you're in the twilight years of your maturity when you're pushing 50 and then you hit your twilight and there's your youth of your twilight till you're about 57 years old <clears throat> the maturity of your twilight till you're about 65 and then there's the twilight of your twilight those last seven eight maybe ten years before sundown and you're gone so I'm nearing the end 
of the youth of my twilight. Yay! <laughs> Uh, but we can all fall somewhere on that scale and that that's okay I mean everything has a beginning a middle and an end everything at all so thumbs up past that though just surviving my kitty is oh she's so cute she's curling up on the floor she spends a lot of time curled up on the floor because if she wants to be curled up on my lap because she wants pets, then I want her on my lap. And when she wants that, that's fine. She doesn't always want that because right now she's happy curled up on the floor. You've seen her in videos when she's on my lap. When I'm too active, she back down onto the floor. But when she just wants food, all I have to do is make a movement and she's leaped off and is usually tugged my earbuds out of my ear so when she's just hungry it's like no no you stay down <clears throat> life is life i mean she's getting older so yeah when she's gone, I'm going to regret the times that I didn't have her on my lap. But on the other hand, I'm not going to regret the times that she didn't yank my earbuds out of my ears and hurt me and possibly destroy my equipment. So, thumbs up for that. I mean, she's a cat. She's got a tail. And tails get wrapped up in cords as they cats go jumping. I mean, that happens. It's the way life is. So I've just been trying to think of things to write. I've been practice writing again. I did a really stupid little, like, three or four paragraphs. So, hey, definitely a thumbs up on that. And when they say, one of the things to do, if you don't know what to write, just write about that. It's just get the words flowing. Get moving. Things have momentum. Your thoughts have momentum. They need to get moving. And once you're moving, it's easier to keep things in motion than it is to slow them down and stop them again. So what you do is you just sit there in front of your blank screen and just type about how, I can't think of what to type about. I'm sitting here right in front of this blank screen. It's glaring into my eyes and my mind is blank. I'm typing, but I still can't think of a thing to write. And I feel dumb because I'm typing about how I can't think of anything to type about. You're getting the ball rolling. And it takes time, but once it's moving, <coughs> It's easier to keep it moving than it is to stop. And then the next thing you know, you're finding yourself in the zone. And that is a good thing. The zone does not just exist in sports. It's whatever you happen to be doing when you are just, you are a part of it. You are no longer a part of what's happening outside. It's you are in that moment. And it is awesome. You can, it feels like 15 minutes, and then you take a look at the time, and it's been hours. So, yeah, all you got to do is get that ball moving. It doesn't matter if you're typing stupid stuff. Who's going to read it? You. Nobody else. Who's going to judge you? <clears throat> and if you're judging you, why? Take a look at that. Question the reasons. Depression lies to you so always listen to what's being said by your head and where those words come from so give it a shot and this doesn't just apply to writing I mean it's absolutely everything at all it's everything conservation of momentum it's a I said it all wrong but hopefully you understood what I which law I was talking about thermodynamics <clears throat> but it is it's things in motion ten are easier to keep in motion they tend to stay in motion things not in motion tend to stay not in motion so it takes effort push 
once you get yourself moving, you will find it's easier to actually stay moving than it is to make another change. Habits. Form a habit. It takes 21 days to make or break a habit. It takes time. And as human beings, we hate that. We want immediate gratification. But delayed gratification is a good thing, especially when you don't have a choice. So whether it's exercising or writing or reading or just drawing, I mean, I went and bought some drawing stuff a couple months back. I drew one picture so far. I haven't been able to get the momentum up to draw anything else. And I got some birthday pictures I want to draw for people. I, I want to draw one for at least Sebastian Ferris and I've forgotten everyone else. So I am behind on that and it's you got to get the momentum. Once I start drawing one thing, it's easier to keep drawing because I'm moving. The energy is flowing. The juices are going. I mean, literally, since we're bags of juice. So, hey, thumbs up on that. <clears throat> I realized that I forgot to open up 24 hours worth of comments on my community tab. So when I get to it, hopefully I'll be able to do that quickly. As a quick plea, I've got at least cat food on my Amazon wish list. If you could pick up some things on that, that would be awesome. You don't have to look at anything but the cat food if you don't like. Ooh, excuse me. And please, do not feel obligated. I sincerely and honestly do not feel entitled. I'm just asking if you could help, it would be awesome. I am no money and my cat needs to eat. If you could help me out by picking up the, the cat food off the Amazon wish list, and I'm going to be putting on if I haven't yet, I need another bag of hamster bedding. So if you could take a look at that, that would be cool. Again, do not feel obligated ever. Your money is yours, your life. Do with it as you wish. You are obligated. I mean, you're obligated to pay some people, but that's only because of society and societal obligations so I'm not quite sure where I was going with that one <laughs> but it's if you can help that would be awesome but never ever ever feel obligated and that, that's you're gonna find the big difference between like all these people out there that beg for your cash and then I really need help but I hate asking for help and I know it's my parents and I know it's my grandparents and I hate it even to the point that even though I'm partnered with HumbleBundle.com I refuse to actually just take the minute to do a quick sponsorship link and ad in my videos because I hate that sort of thing so much. I've, yeah, I'm partnered with Humble Bundle, by the way. If you could check out the link down below, that would be awesome. They do all sorts of things. There's development software, game software for PC, iOS, Android. They have comic books, e-comic books, e-books, and it's, it's really cool. And if you get with the buy anything with the link down below, I actually get paid for it when it hits a threshold of money. I've been paid three times in the two and a half years I've been shilling for them because I never advertised. So if you could check it out, that would be very cool. Don't feel obligated. I don't feel entitled, but it's a cool thing. And they do give their part of their every purchase to charity. And that's awesome. So see, I, that was like pulling teeth, but at least I got it done. Ah. <laughs> oh. It's my, my grandparents lived through the, the depression and it made a big impression on them and they raised their children, my mother, with that same mindset. And I say it I, a lot, I've said it, I, I'm gonna say it now and I'll say it again in the future. It's one of the things that I really have to push against is the way that they taught my mother and she taught me and they taught me, which was if you have problems while you work on it yourself, you suffer in silence. If you can't fix it, you die. 
and that's not right so it's that's it's just I can understand why they had to have that mindset you wouldn't have survived otherwise I mean it was almost inconceivably bad from our standpoint right now I mean there was no food and no money and no jobs but you had a family to feed what were you gonna do so it's what a lot of non-US countries like down in South America are going through right now what is it Venezuela it's like holy smokes all the problems going on and the issues that we've got well anyway though I'm gonna open up quickly 24 hours worth of I'm gonna try and open up 24 hours worth of comments on my community tab so that I can thank 20 to 25 people since I I realized I'd even shut down the browser so it's I couldn't even call up anything to open 24 hours worth of comments on my community tab which I'm waiting to open up the it's uh I don't know if it's Comcast or Chrome but that took like <clears throat> what felt like four hours for it to show up hey okay, I'm now opening up 24 hours worth of comments on my community tab and then I'm gonna go through and thank 20 to 25 people it is a range of 20 to 25 uh, fibromyalgia American Sign Language if I mispronounce a username no disrespect intended I'm just thanking people for having left a comment I'm gonna read the comments later thumbs up thank I'm so behind I had to really cut everything down but help me please thank you very very much and Jen the master greatly appreciated Susan Mason thumbs up and thank you we have Pandora NYC one thank you so very much and Cyhan plays son of a gun finally it took me a long time and i finally got you with your with your shout out thank you very much it is greatly appreciated for you putting up with me ari kappa capasterot i'm very sorry I've, i slaughtered your name but thank you very very much and kathy kitzkat greatly appreciate it we have rod raman thumbs up and thank you Marilee kashiro thumbs up and thank you and fabian valen <coughs> Greatly appreciated. MLG Dog274. Thank you very much. Camila Goncalves. I'm nowhere close. Thank you very, very much. Germans Kogstat Lingas. Thumbs up. One day I'm going to get your name correct. But thank you very, very much. And A Lemon Pie 407. Thumbs up. And Confused Owl 29. Greatly appreciated. We have Eddie LaRue. I'm nowhere close, but thank you very much. A Blackout, greatly appreciated. DTWC, thumbs up and thank you. Gilberto Diaz, thumbs up and thank you very much. Mika Mach 5, thumbs up and thank you. Adrian Bryan, greatly appreciated. Sebastian Ferris, oh, the weather, oy vey. And then we have Ice Damon, greatly appreciated. Astado, thumbs up and thank you. And CF, greatly appreciated each and every one of you you get me out of my head into the world dealing with real people and really that is a very very important and good thing so thumbs up and thank you oh hokey smokes look at the time if you can check out my various things down below i have twitter facebook gofundme patreon.com nearly senior citizen.com if you could donate to my gofundme campaign or become a patreon.com patron like one of these beautiful and awesome people that would be beautiful and awesome but if you cannot donate or you simply do not donate i do take all good wishes and i deposit them in the bank of my heart where i draw interest so thank you very much if you could toss me a like i do appreciate all the positive validation i get from my existence a definite thumbs up and if you can subscribe to the channel that would be very cool greatly appreciated and make sure to hit that bell otherwise YouTube ain't gonna let you know when my videos come out that would be very cool greatly appreciated I would understand if you did not wish to I mean really I would understand if you didn't wish to but if you are down with it I will do my very best to keep you entertained from now until the literal end of time a very good thing <coughs> so I got this video in case you didn't notice and I've got another video that I need to edit and render. Another video to record, edit and render. I need to get my walkies videos edited and rendered. I need to go record where they've been doing work on the roundabout. It looks really cool. I wouldn't have done it the way they did it, but it looks cool. 
definitely a thumbs up. So you take care. Have a great day today. I will see you on the flip side. And I still have to call about this pain in my arm. I hope it's not a torn rotator cuff.